What's going on, YouTube? Another update here from the greenhouse. All the peppers looking nice this week. Um, everybody's standing up nice and tall over there. Um, yeah, we just hit a growth spurt, which has been really nice. I mean, here, right first, right up here, we've got the MA Vortex. Look, got flowers all over it. It grew like a good 10 inches since last week, something like that. These top pieces here just really took off. This is him right over here, more flowers. Um, some of the new growth is kind of light green colored, um, which I'm noticing across the board. If you can see all the light green stuff all over, that's usually the new growth that's coming in. And then, I don't know, it comes in like real light green. And then uh, out of nowhere, overnight one time, it just, bang, it just turns uh, deep green. Um, I don't like those leaves down there, minus the, <laughs> that stuff, I still cannot get off these leaves, man. Oh, look at that, that leaf looks really bad. Maybe sunburn on there, definitely looks a little crispy. Uh, but this guy right here, oh, I better hurry up or this is going to be a super long video, which I am known for. Got buds all over, uh, yeah, I guess it's all over, what the heck, I can't even see. Where is it? Oh, right there. Um, but we've got a few more right over here. This is all my chocolate habanero here. Nice little plant. Look how tall that thing is. Um, it's not gigantic or anything, but uh, I'm very proud of it. Um, yeah, so the MA War takes right down here. This little low rider guy sits in that cup back there. Just kind of hangs over over here. Uh, my white peach. Got a couple uh, miniature fruit on this plant. There's a couple over here. Um, but the whole thing's kind of low and stunted and stuff. It's just trying to keep up with the water level. Um, its roots aren't as big as the other guys, and neither is this pink tiger right back here. As you can see, he's all droopy. Some white flies in here. Got a solution. Hopefully it'll work. Um, yeah, but the pink tiger back here. That one and this uh, Ahi Fantasy, right? Yeah, Ahi Fantasy. Um, both of these guys are my little special guys, so I keep extra cups in here uh, from where there was a plant before. I take a cup of water and just dump it right into the cup up here, and then eventually it drains down. And I feel like that's forcing the roots to grow down into the water. Um, no proof, just what I feel like. Um, right over here, my ghost. Look at this guy. Just branched right up, took off. Uh, yeah, there's a couple buds on there. There's one right over there. I need a better focusing camera for up close stuff, I'm realizing. Um, here's a couple buds right in here. Oh, right between the leaves. There it is. Hey, look at that. Spread them. Um, right behind here is my uh, red Vitali. And this little guy starts off, I mean, look at that trunk on that. And it just jumped up. And now it's like, hey, I want the sunlight. So it jumped up above everybody here. And uh, yeah, like I said, somewhat greening the leaves, but yeah, look at that, buds, flowers, more flowers and buds, and a bud. Oh, that bud doesn't look that bad, uh, good. Kinda looks like it has a black tip on it. Um, oh, who's in the back? Uh, would be my yellow Maruga, getting overshadowed. There we go, still a little guy, but I have a feeling it's gonna do the same thing as this red Fatale here and just jump up, just like this guy and fork, which it did, my Fatale. Um, and that guy has not forked yet. My red ghost here, way over here, also comes way over here. All of that is my red ghost. It's the best way to uh, show how big the plant is. Just shake it around a little bit. You know, I'm sure they love that. Uh, it is just starting to bud right here, so that's very nice. Like I said, uh, I feel like the heat wave just stopped, um, and now we're like real, like I don't know. They were in survival mode, and now they're like, heck with this. Like, let's get this done. So I feel like they're uh, actually growing really good. Um, right back here, look at that. I didn't forgot to pick this guy, and it turned that color. So, and now I'm doubting uh, whether it was ready to go or not. Look, right there, it's got like a peach color on the bottom. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it on there and see what color it finally turns. That's a white peach, labeled as white peach. Um, and it's pretty big. It's got a bunch of branches here. Um, right behind it, is what the heck is that guy oh yeah right another white peach right oh yeah and that's this one and those ones went from white to that color very strange um where'd that other guy go i had one more here it is but that one turned like peach color almost so i'm gonna leave those go it's right here look at these little leaves right here 
pretty little purple flowers right there. You can see it kind of looks white, but it's purple. Um, that would be the St. Thomas Bane. Look, it's jumping up too. Uh, it was a little low rider down here. Look at that pretty little plant. Topped that guy up quite a long time ago. And it's got a whole pile of branches and everything. But uh, it's got a bunch of fruit I need to pick on there too. But it's going nuts too with the flowers all over. So, like I said, everything's coming back real strong. Um, down in here. Oh, right. Yeah, let's just talk about this guy. Which tea crossed with Dugala. Uh, it's got wicked little tails on there. Um, have another fruit right here, starting to turn color. Um, I really need to pick these guys, but I was just leaving them on there and seeing if they were going to get all bumpy and stuff. They really haven't. They're kind of smooth. You can see some bumps in it. Um, <laughs> you can't, because it won't focus. But uh, I can see uh, some small little bumps, but not anything like that MA Wartix or anything like that, which you'll see at the end. But uh, definitely nothing to frown upon. They seem to be somewhat smaller pods, but uh, that's okay. Um, we, hopefully, we still have plenty of time in the season. I think our season will go until like November or something like that. So hopefully we are going to get some fun stuff out of this. Look at this. This little guy. This is my lemon drop. It's starting to take off. This thing, look at that, all those buds right there and flowers, more right over here. Very nice. Um, this little guy has been below everybody. You can see everybody else is like canopied above them. Um, but it was stunted for the longest time. I topped it and I don't know, uh, right now, as of right now I should say, I don't think you should top your ahis uh, unless you got a lot of time. Because uh, this one just stunted for the longest time. And uh, it's a lemon drop, so it should be an ahi limon, I believe, uh, is what it is. Um, but yeah, same thing with the ahi pineapple. I, I just feel like it just stunted them longer, and they should have been fruiting earlier. I could have got more fruit ultimately off of them. But if I did that a lot earlier, because they were last of the uh, crop that I planted, but if that would have happened earlier, I feel like uh, I would have had much better of a chance with them. Caramel Maruga, here we go. Look at the trunk on this thing. That is nice, man. Uh, did not top this guy. Look, fort. And now it's just starting to go crazy with the buds and flowers all over it. So, like I said, we're kicking into overdrive here. Um, red ghost over here. More buds popping off there. But this thing's huge all the way out here. It goes all the way. Where, yeah, all the way over to here which it's pretty freaking big. Um, buds popping off on there. Um, right behind it is another white peach. That was my little special problem one. And where you at? You see, nice and green. A little bit of curling of the leaves down here. But we got buds popping off on here, so that's very nice. Um, behind that, wait, is that another white peach? Or no, that's a peach ghost in the far corner there you can see the cup it branches out and it goes all the way over to here and all the way over to here so it is gigantic here there you want to see how much it's at is just that one there's that all the way over to there look at that almost three foot tall because top of the wall is three foot uh, actually over the wall would be three foot it's another like inch or two but it's big i don't see any oh well these are flowers on it, I guess. Um, and there's some buds all in here and stuff, but no pods really to speak of, um, I guess because of the heat. Um, who am I forgetting? Uh, Caramel Maruga, right? Hey, Let's see here. Got this pod. And uh, it looks pretty red. Um, and not firm. Yeah, Caramel Maruga is what it says. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that one right off that's the whole plant there but it's kind of tucked away here everybody fighting for the light I guess oh look there's another little uh, pod starting to form right there but uh, yeah not, not even flowers or anything really to speak of so hmm, okay well I'm definitely taking that pod now it definitely looks uh, like it needs to be taken there's a better look at that uh, peach ghost which I suspect is a red ghost um, according to the first two pods I got off of it before the heat wave. Over here, another red ghost. Look at that. Tons of new growth all over here. Some buds popping off. More buds. 
and uh, all the way over here more buds right here very nice uh, I think that's the first uh, buds that this thing has even had um, it's just been kind of small and spending its time growing instead of uh, budding so um, right behind it that big old guy there is uh, <laughs> my Charlie Brown Christmas tree uh, this is my uh, Reaper and it doesn't look that great but we've got flowers we've got buds we've got another flower there uh, some crappy looking leaves which it just tends to get and then um, some of them fall off that's why it uh, looks like that Here's an extreme case uh, won't exactly focus on it but looks like little rest dots on there darn it I'm gonna have to look at my uh, my deficiency chart there Keep almost all it should be my desktop for crying out loud right over here look at this man buds all over this thing pods hey, let go man all right fine we'll do you first ma wartix look at the size of this thing oh, deadly. Um, look at the size of this thing this is all it right here and uh, it is pretty freaking big uh, flowers right over there flowers all over it really um, but yeah, it, I think those are the first flowers, but see how it's like light green up here, and then you look down, and it's dark green, so I'm willing to bet in like a week or maybe less, it's just gonna like have one of those booms, just like all this growth came in, uh, I'll have another boom where it just all turns green. Um, back here is my peach ghost, hey, look at that, more pods, all kind of pods on this guy, this is one of the only ones I can say is all loaded up. And uh, it's still budding and potting and all that stuff. So, much more growth coming on that guy. Look right over here. Got a few more. Look at that. Three right there. And uh, it's budding. Eh, it's hard to see because it's focusing back there where there's more. And there's another one right down here. And another one right over here. So, that is very cool. Cool little growth spurt here. And it's got buds all over it. Um, same with right over here. Look at this. I mean, just flowers everywhere all over this. So all it took was uh, getting... Oh, look, it even comes way over to here. Jeez, oh, man, look, it just keeps going. It's the Hanukkah bush. It just keeps giving. Um, I think I showed those two pods off. But, um, no, I didn't. That was that one down there. Um, but, yeah, so all kind of stuff going on with that guy. Chocolate habanero right behind. Uh, looking very nice. couple pods on there. Another one down there. Another one right over there. And it just had a big growth spurt, so a bunch of that growth is all new, which is really weird. Like, I'm pretty sure it grew at least a good five or six inches, at least, maybe ten. Like this Fatale here. This guy just stood right up and forked. Yeah, right there. There we go. Way down here. Um, but yeah, finally forked, so we're going to start getting uh, some buds forming in here. I was trying to prove myself wrong, but I don't see any buds on there. Um, and his buddy right here, the other red Vitaly, kind of looking droopy. I'm going to have to check the roots and see what they're doing. But it's got buds all over it there. Um, look at this guy right here. Nice little pods on there. More pods coming. Tons of them, look. All kind of flowers and buds. Buds and flowers right next to pods. More pods next to buds and flowers. Look at this. Just going nuts. Um, that is my ahi pineapple. Lots of growth. It is now... I'll let it get a little bit higher before I say it's three foot tall. But uh, it's trying for that three foot mark. There's some more, more branches over here with flowers and little buds. So sweet. That was all of these guys right here. I just can't believe this immense growth right in this area. Actually, the entire thing. It's just so nice. Look at that, man. All right. Um, kill this fan. And look at this baby. Definitely over three feet on my pink tiger now. And it is great. More important than that. Look at this. I had no clue that these things would try to put off pods. Very weird. Got flowers and buds everywhere. No pods to speak of, but uh, tons and tons of... Uh, huh. Doesn't look like anything on this entire branch here. Which has a giant branch. Uh, but there's buds right there, all down in here. Um, more flowers closing up, so we're going to find out very shortly if I have any uh, pods. More flowers, more flowers, more buds. 
but yeah, this guy is gigantic, uh, well over three foot tall, and look at the trunk on this thing. Very, very nice. And what the heck, since we're right here, let's check out the roots. Oh, not a lot of water left. Still that crap in there. There's its roots. Very, very nice, yeah. I've, hmm, airstone is not working. Oh, very minimal. Hmm, gonna have to fix that and give it another five gallons. I'm just adding five gallons at a time when it gets down to about there. Uh, just because I'm paranoid and I don't want to drown the roots. I mean, after all of this, that would be the worst thing and kill your plant, not realize it and drain all the water out um, like you should, if that were to happen. Um, Sugar Rush is just going nuts with the flowers and the pods. Look, there's a pod right there with a little line on it. Um, yeah, I pulled the other ones that were right down here, but it's just going absolutely nuts right next to uh, the pink tiger here. And look at this, it's so gigantic. It just took off this giant uh, stock right here and it's just full of buds flowers and now pods everywhere and I believe that's just because uh, I pulled those other pods and when I did I think it just started uh, you know going into production mode speaking of production mode geez oh man this guy's huge look at this it goes all the way over to here it's all of that growth right there all of that going way over there um, all of this over here and there are pods everywhere on here here's a couple small ripe ones um green ones but it's just going crazy oh look here's a pink tiger coming way over here too trying to make the three foot mark on another branch um but yeah that's my dragon cayenne right here and underneath this guy is all of this growth right Whoop. hey you're with the growth <laughs> okay there we go look at that all of that plant right here is all my Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion. Staying low to the ground, and it is just about to go nuts. There's pods, uh, flowers and pods, more pods, or uh, not pods, buds, uh, flowers, tons of flowers over here, more right over there. So it is about to just go nuts. Um, tons of def, uh, bunch, tons of branches just going everywhere with this thing. So it's one of those creepers. It was uh, just sitting there for a while. And uh, you could tell it was growing, but it wasn't getting big. And then all of a sudden, when it got hit, uh, its growth spurt, um, that's what you get. You get a low, bushy plant, which I topped it, so I don't know if I was trying to do something different. But, uh, oh, crap. This guy's not looking good. I'm going to have to double check his roots and make sure that um, it's even getting any water. And just manually give it water. Uh, but the rest of these guys are all looking good. My Trini is throwing some buds off. Don't know if they're gonna stick or not. But, uh, darn, man, that really sucks. Look at that guy. Looks pretty bad. Let's see if I can bring him back. Um, right over here, look, more growth spurt right here. Um, this would be uh, the yellow Maruga. It just forked. So all of that yellow, or, yeah, light green, yellow. I mean, look, it's starting to come back right here. Um, is all the new growth. Um, right here, this gigantic thing, man. All of, yeah, pretty much all of this is all one plant. All the way over to here. Um, I took the pod off of it. Oh, okay, yeah, we've got uh, some buds and stuff like that forming on here. I was going to say, it really wasn't doing anything. But it did uh, all this yellowing that came uh, with new growth. But look at that trunk on this thing. That is really, really cool. I just noticed today and I thought, how the heck have I not been looking at that? I mean, it's kind of like a canopy. You can see it from across the greenhouse, but uh, I don't know. Um, trunk on that guy is pretty good, too. Um, who else do we have here? Aha! My ghost pepper back here. Looking very nice. Bunch of ghosts hanging off. A couple more over there. Um, oh, there's the other one. Um, but it's looking nice and big, and a uh, growth spurt going on on him. That guy has a nice trunk on it, too. Look at that. This is one of the youngest plants in the whole greenhouse. Um, chocolate Maruga here. Look at that yellowing almost on the very top of it. So it should be coming back. Gotta double check that guy's roots, too, though. Um, Jay's Peach Coast Scorpion. This is another one. It just branched out everywhere. On an air pump. I need to like suspend this thing so it can't just vibrate on the ground, on the wood. But uh, this thing has buds and uh, buds and flowers and all that. Uh, I don't see any flowers, but buds everywhere on this thing. 
Um, right beside it is my yellow Maruga, or yellow brain strain, that's right. I, I pulled all the pods off of it. There's another one, I gotta pull that guy off. Wait, I think that was here last week. That crappy looking little pod. But uh, I'm gonna pull that off of there. I think I saw one starting. No, but there's a bunch of flowers about to close, so um, that one should be coming very shortly. Um, <clears throat> definitely coming back really nice. Um, right over here, this is my ghost pepper, and look at that, it's just got this big old growth spurt right here, and it's starting to bud up and flower over here. Um, that's pretty much it on this guy. Um, it's kind of, I think this is one of the youngest ones, uh, in the greenhouse, but the ghosts were all some of the, uh, youngest ones. Uh, right over here, my, <laughs> this is the Charlie Brown Christmas tree here. Look at this thing, man. A uh, bunch of leaves died off, so we've got a bunch of new growth right here popping back up and everything. But uh, white peach, um, I swear it has more pods on it than it does leaves. Um, this guy right over here, um, actually we're getting a good growth spurt on here too. Look at that, that's awesome. And pods, or not pods, but uh, buds and flowers everywhere on here. This is my reaper. I pulled all the pods that I had on there. None of them really looked like a reaper. Well, actually, it looked like uh, they were going for reaper shape, but then kind of stunted halfway through the process, but then ripened. Um, so hopefully I'm going to get one of those wicked-looking ones with a tail. Uh, mine kind of looked like a boot. Didn't really look like a tail. But uh, these guys right over here, I need to pull these guys off. These are all my little tiny habaneros. Um, I think it's just because it's in uh, this aeroponic-type design here. Um, sweet apple, what it's labeled as, starting to bud again. Look at all that. That's very cool. And it's got more growth right up there in the fan. And uh, right over here, tons of uh, buds and stuff like that. So very happy to get some more of that. Because, um, I don't know, mystery red pepper is what I'm calling it. Um, here's a yellow maruga. It's kind of orangish. But uh, this one, yeah, there's some buds over there, some flowers, and some more stuff going on. But uh, it's coming back. Also, can't exactly see it. I'm about in the fan. But see this little dot there? That's a spider. It's got a little web right here in this general area. Oops. This general area. So I let it stay there because every once in a while, um, uh, you can kind of see right over there maybe. You know, see the little dot and floating. Um, it's been catching white flies, so I've just been letting it. Um, right over here, look at this guy. Yellow Maruga, I think I waited a little too long on him. And uh, it turned orange. Uh, it's got another one right back here. That one's still nice and firm. This one is uh, softening up a little bit. And then I've got a nice one right over here. So this guy never uh, disappoints. And then right over here, lastly, but never leastly, look at all the buds and flowers all over this guy. That is like a model of what a plant should be looking like. And uh, some of the flowers closing up, so we'll see if we get some more. But this is what uh, it looks like. That's the M.A. Wartex, and it is still nice and very firm. But uh, I think it's been time to pick it for like a week now. It's not even showing up, but it is really, really deep, deep red. And it is bumpy, very, very bumpy. So, and you can kind of see on the outline on the outside there. But anyway, look at that. Look at the stock on that thing, man. Very big. Same with the yellow maruga. All right, well, anyway, that was my super. Hey, just stepped on a snail. All right, sorry. <laughs> Not really. Um, that was my super long walk around the greenhouse here, checking out all of my pepper plants. Sorry it took so long. I'm like the master of the long video because I keep rambling. Um, but anyway, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We do uh, the review, or not reviews, but uh, we do them throughout the week. Uh, I've got my Super Hots on Monday, uh, the Super Hot Garden, always on Monday. Tuesday's the Hot Tub Aquaponic Garden over there with that tower of green growth going on. Uh, Thursday's my Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden with the catfish in there. Hopefully none of them jumped out again. And along the back wall, we've got the hydro tube there. It's just so freaking big and so much growth. Anyway, uh, that was my walk around here this week. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, comment, all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. Leave a comment. Always love that. Um, and yeah, 
I guess I will catch y'all in the next video. Catch me on Twitter if you feel like it. Uh, a with a circle, R-E-V-T-O. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Till then, later.